learning more about the Biden administration, how he will distribute free N95 masks and free COVID-19 tasks. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to 13 News at Noon. The president had promised to make high quality masks free to help stop the spread of COVID. Those 400 million masks will become available starting late next week at a network of local pharmacies and community health centers. They are the same locations that have been used to administer vaccines. The announcement comes as the government also launched a website where Americans can now order free COVID tests. The government has more than 420 million COVID tests for this program, and there are plans to bump it up to a billion tests in the coming weeks. Just go to covidtests.gov and you can get up to four tests per address, but this is causing problems for people who live in apartment complexes or multi-unit homes. Take a listen. An error that came up saying, oh, this address has already ordered COVID tests. Now, the Biden administration and the U.S. Postal Service are working to correct those errors. For now, if you don't have access to the Internet, they are also coming up with a hotline for you to call. And, of course, we will let you know when that number uh, will be released. And if you are able to track down a test in store, private insurance companies are now required to pay. And state health leaders say most new COVID cases right now are in are the Omicron variant. While most people will recover, it is still a serious concern. In fact, so far this month, we've seen 759 deaths in Indiana. That's a lot of people in just a couple of weeks. In January alone, we've seen more than 207,000 new COVID cases. So in just 17 days, there have been more cases than any other month of the pandemic. Now, to help out, FEMA is extending support at IU Health. The 20 person naval team, they're going to uh, stick around for just another 30 days. This is going to include physicians, nurses, and respiratory professionals. Now, the team is currently working in the E. Uh, working in the ER at IU Methodist supporting patient care. And while IU needs help, there are signs this latest surge is easing in parts of the country. NBC's Jay Gray has the latest trend. While the fight against Omicron intensifies across most of the country, there are signs the virus may have hit a plateau along the East Coast. Infections leveling off, even falling in New Jersey, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. In New York, there's been a nearly 47% drop in COVID cases from earlier this month. Still, the rest of the country is struggling. We're in no way seeing a plateau or a decline, so the numbers are still going up. Classrooms have become breeding grounds for the virus. We're having a, a pretty difficult time in covering all of our classes. An online tracker showing more than 6,200 U.S. schools were actively disrupted by Omicron last week. I can tell you virtually all the children we admitted to our hospital who are over five who could be vaccinated aren't, nor their parents, nor their siblings. Facilities again being stretched in some cases past their limits. Field units filling hospital parking lots to help with the overwhelming caseload. Our volumes are, are, are higher than they were uh, pre-COVID. Um, we have less staff um, from a nursing perspective. And, and you know, we, we're, we're seeing sick patients. A shortage of COVID tests has also been an issue. The website covidtest.gov is now online, providing four at-home test kits per family. Delivery could take up to 12 days. Jay Gray, NBC News. A new COVID clinic is opening up in Carmel today. You'll find it at the Jill Perelman Pavilion on West 116th Street near University High School and West Park. The clinic will be open through Saturday from noon to 8, and both vaccines and COVID tests will be available. Walk-ins are accepted, but everyone is encouraged to make an appointment. We've got a link to do that posted on our website.